How you doing, folks? First of all, my apologies about the shake in the camera. The gearbox went in my Osmo for holding the camera. But we were lambing yesterday and I dropped it and that's it, my own fault. Um, Kelly's, Kelly's a Boris, massive class. Uh, JCB there, Hydromax, H-I-D-R-O-M-E-K. They're diggers and small like bobcats with um, back actors. Nate, look, and you all all together. Um, you can see the yard of equipment. There is a massive, massive, massive selection of equipment. And um, they're just, look, all this stuff, yards and yards and yards. Now, if you're careful, the sun is in our eyes. But Kelly's are having a massive open day, the 8th, the 9th and the 10th of February. So I'm not going to fit all this in one video, absolutely not. Um, but I'm going to have to make at least three videos. So I put up the three videos between here and then. And um, yeah, so look, give it a like, give it a subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you can. Like I said before, every video, every time it gets a thumbs up, YouTube um, bump it along. And they think, okay, they don't care what it is. They think, okay, this must be a good video. And they'll send this video to more like-minded people like yourselves and myself. And um, yeah, that's it. And I will, like I said, it'll probably be three videos, but I'll put the... I tag, this will be number one, and I'll tag, I put each video below the other videos in the first two comments as they come up, I'll put them into it. Alright, let's turn the camera and um, we'll give a look through the second hand tractor range. There's a yard above with second hand sprayers and trailers and all that kind of stuff. We'll try and put that in this video as well if we can. There's another shade in the background and outside. It is full. There must be at least 30, 40 combines and choppers and self propellants inside in it. And we'll get that. Um, there's a yard over with second hand JCBs, uh, new classes. There's cattle trailers, there's cattle boxes, there's diet feeders, there's there's everything. There's an absolutely smashing 7740 for New Holland there as well. So there's, um, there's classes, there's Valtras. This is this is probably one of the biggest yards I've ever been inside in. And uh, that's it. We'll turn the camera and we'll give a walk through the stuff. Now the sun is there, so I'm going to have to kind of keep keep it coming this way. And um, yeah, let's let's do it. All right, guys. These are all here for you. Um, like I said, Kelly is a Boris. Big open date, the 8th, the 9th and the 10th of February 2024. And they're uh, putting up a big marquee over in the yard for you. Um, we have a class Arian. 620, we have another class, there's no numbers on that side of the bonnet, that one is a 151, this one's a 132, um, we have a 151 class 650 Arian, and we have this big lady here, an A10, AXIO and Exxon class, and of course Kelly's, I think Kelly's are on the go with, was it 1953? Um, I can't exactly remember now exactly what the story was, look, that's a that's an interesting machine there. Wait until wait until you see that yoke. Um, we have another class here, a 630 Arian, a 640 Arian, and look, a nice little class with a loader. Um, I drove a class there for a fella for a while, and they are a beautiful tractor. Watch this one with a loader, front linkage, the whole lot ready for you out the gap. Um, a class 650 Arian, front linkage. Front PTO, the whole lot, absolutely lovely little tractor again. These are all here. Kelly's a Boris 171, that one is. If you want any of these tractors, any of this equipment, just contact Kelly's here, a Boris. I was there talking to a fellow I was dealing with, was Morris Kelly, an absolute gentleman, and thanks to him and everyone here for leaving me walk around the yard. Now, I've often spoken of Valtras in, I suppose, in my videos, and this is... The Valtra I want, this type, this shape, um, this is the, the Valtra I want. The only thing with him, and I didn't like, and I drove him, drawn silage for a while, that I think the one I drove, there was like two kind of half gears, like like a dual power in it, but I just found that if there was, it could do one more, it could do one more, like a, like a, like a one more half a gear, if you know what I mean, it was just, if you were drawing silage up in a high field, you were revving going up the field and you didn't have the power to beat the harvester around the headland and if you were on just yeah you know what i mean if you know what i mean um i can't see any numbers but she's zero three and of course kelly is also our valtra war valtra dealers it's 
I don't know, there's still Valtra dealers. I think there's still Valtra dealers in um in another garage there. They have another separate place inside in Kilkenny City itself. This is the 7840 Powerstar SLE. Um these are a, f a fantastic tractor. She's of course the very last of the Ford. Um she's still badge Ford. The fellas tell me that um Oh, it's not a Ford, it's, it's a New Holland or whatever. To me, the, the blue tractor, whether it's that one, which is, is she a TV, whatever she is, that's still a Ford. I know it's, but look, they're not they're actually all Fiat's. Fiat is the, the parent company of the whole lot of them now. Um, a New Holland T6175, 141 KK Ridge. Um, nice tractor, front tires are about 25%, back tires are maybe 50%. But a nice little tractor there for someone. The one thing I can never understand about New Holland is the grills. They're a beautiful tractor, but how come they can't get the grills right? How come they can't, like, like the Valtra, they, how come they can't powder coat the grills? The grills, all the grills seem to rust in them. And I know it's the salt off the roads and I know whatever it's that, but uh, yeah, they, they all seem to have that bit of a small slight issue. But look, in saying that, if that's the only issue they have, that's brilliant. Dites Far. Um, Dites Far, of course. Um, Dites was the tractor. And I've said this before. Far was the combine. And the combine harvester, the tillage equipment. And they joined together to become Dites Far. And, of course, now she's in a different colour. She'd be a Lamborghini. And in a different colour again, she'd be a Hurley man. So they're, they're, they're a nice little tractor, actually. And look at this, guys. Look. I can stay back here behind the sun. Um... They also have a selection of diggers here. They have the, we look at them over there in a minute there. The H-I-D-R-O-M-E, Hydromech. And with JCB there, 130. We have a 210 Cabelco. We have a Manitou. And we have a JCB, I don't know what number she is, but we'll give a look at her there in a second as well. You see this stuff? Brand new class rakes, brand new class moors, brand new uh, class front moors, uh, another tether rake. Or we have... Um, uh, what do I call it over? What's the name of the bale trailer? Celtic. Is that a Celtic bale trailer? And of course, Joskins um, rear discharge slurry tank. And also we have the S77260 Massey Ferguson Dyna VT. Again, absolutely beautiful tractor. These tractors are making serious, serious books. Along with this one, um, in second hand value, these are making. These are making good, good money. Like if a case international M M X Maxim. I think this is a Steyr. I'm not a thousand percent too sure on this one. I think I'm going by the headlight. I am nearly certain this is a Steyr in case clothing. And of course we have the Zetter. Zetter are again lovely little tractor. Um, lovely farmer's tractor. Um, nine ninety six forty one. Is she about seventy or eighty horsepower? There, thereabouts, good tyres all round. Um, nice little, nice clean little tractor again. Absolutely lovely little tractor. Um, what else we over here? I can't turn the camera too much because we'll get blinded. We have a JCB there. I'm not too sure what model she is. And we have two Joskins. Um, I was looking at this while ago. Um, we're going to give a slightly closer look at them. Um, they're Joskins, to me, they're kind of like, they're cedars. Um, but these are these are a big cedar like you know like they're standing up there ten feet. There's another three foot folded down, so that's thirteen foot. That's ten, ten, twenty, twenty, three, six. That's twenty six, maybe thirty feet wide. And you have the for those of you that don't know, um, the seed will come out here. This is where the seed comes out, out here down the blue pipe, out here, and then these little grass tines will bury the seed and it'll stop the, the crows and stuff from eating the seed. And of course here is what, to me, it's a little hydraulic pump, but it's driving a fan that's driving the seed out the blue pipes that are inside in that box. Here's another quick look at all your, your, your second hand tractors. There's some amount of second hand tractors here. There is some amount of absolutely beautiful second-hand tractors. And come and see them, the 8th, the 9th, and the 10th of February here in, in um, Kelly's Aboris. We have a, one a 414S JCB. Um, of course, these, tra these, these, these tractors, these loading shovels are 
they were a bit like they, they suppose they still are for a lot of fellas a lot of fellas had these at silage uh, putting up silage on the pit these were a kind of a, a 414 and there was a, f- a 412 and this is a 414S these f- these were a very very popular machine against up against fellas that um, for putting up silage and stuff what's this one I can't see the number we'll just walk back to the side of it this is a slightly smaller version slightly newer version as well by the, the tilt in the bonnet this is I can't see Hang on, it doesn't matter. Look, it's there for you. It's 172W, um, which is a 413. So she's a slightly smaller than the, the one next door, but still a very, very powerful, very, very competitive machine. Um, of course, class. Kelly's, have, Kelly's are also class dealers, and class dealers would, I think, I don't know, he tell me over 30 years. And um, he told me the Class Jaguar, which is this one. The Class Jaguar is actually 50 years this year. And, um, like, what an achievement. What an absolute achievement. I know it's just changing the name, but like, if you think about it, Class in Ireland, what really wasn't there going back, um, we'll say, even 20 years ago. And, they, okay, they took over Renault, and they just boomed after that. I suppose Renault, even at that point, had a very, very small footprint in the Irish market. Um, but when Class took them over, they pushed it. They pushed them into dealers. They got dealers going. And uh, there does does an awful lot of Class tractors with contractors, with farmers and everything all over Ireland nowadays. That's a, an 870 Class Jaguar. There's no number plate on it. But right, maybe a perfect machine for a contractor starting out or a perfect machine for maybe yourself. Um with a slightly older type again, she's a Class Jaguar again, but she is the 840. This yoke is, to me, this is an 8 machine. It's obviously a homemade setup. Um, I don't think this was ever factory factory done, but she has the, the mowers in front. Now, obviously, this one opens out that way, this one goes this way, and the top one comes down. Um, these are a, a beautiful machine. And again, look, it, and the older machines, they're not making big money. They're not making big money, so maybe it it probably would pay you to convert them because if you had one of these sitting in the yard okay look I haven't a clue Let's, I'm not even going to mention price but it's probably not worth your while bringing it up to Kelly's to trade it in but um, that is just that is just a beautiful beautiful machine like I, <laughs> I'm sorry but I would love to carry that away home of course I'd love to carry half what's here in the yard home but look that's beside the point um, we will walk up the yard here now we go which way we go we're going to go this way we're going to look a couple of the the headers and a couple of the combines and we will wander on after a couple of headers you after a header she's a C9, C900 there's no no there is hang on now this one is open too she's a V900 what's the difference anyone tillage boys there you can tell me What's the difference between a C900 and a V900? And, of course, we have a couple of John Deere's. A 7550 and a 4, 7455. Again, John Deere, of course, have a massive um, following in Ireland. John Deere are uh, definitely a massive, massive company in Ireland. Um, these are Farm Power, Farm Power here, Cork-based company. Um, what to call it, they are just... John Deere in Ireland is just, I suppose, look, it's there. That's whatever there. John Deere are. But look, John Deere are expensive. That's about it. Another John Deere C670i. Not, don't know a whole pile about combines, don't know a whole pile about any of that kind of stuff, but they're there. These are, again, a serious, serious machine. And then we have New Holland again. Um, they're absolutely lovely, New Holland combine here as I tell you one thing everything inside here is absolutely she's a a CX6090 New Holland these are a big big machine these are a big strong machine another New Holland here lads she's a TX68 plus slightly older machine than the one that's behind me but um it's a machine for someone it's a machine for a contractor this, there's not too many of these in Kerry, 
So maybe someone in Kerry might buy it. Let's look at that first line up, lads. Of, we obviously can't go up the middle there. We, we, we'll go up as far as we can. She's a, another John Deere, a 20, 2850. Brilliant. We'll go up here as far as we can and we'll be looking at some of the combines. Another combine here. She's a class Lexan. We'll have to lose a bit of weight, lads, to go up further. Another class Lexan 440. Again, look at these, lads. These are absolutely spotless machines. Okay, they mightn't have a whole pile of work done. Because really and truthfully, I suppose, they're, well, they, they're kind of... Their work is for a couple of weeks there, maybe in August, September. And um, they work hard for the couple of weeks. They do work. She's a class slicks on five, 540. Whatever else have we? We have another class slicks on 650. There's headers up the yard. There's a ball of headers up the yard to, to match up with these. These, these combines. She's a class T U C I N O Toscano 440. She's, I presume she's slightly, slightly, slightly smaller than the other ones. And um, what have we here? We have another class hybrid Lexon 8580. Again, absolutely fantastic looking machine. These, these machines are absolutely spotless. I suppose the window for all these fellas are getting. She's a class Lexon 770. No, we'll turn and we'll walk back down the, the thing again and we'll give a look at these maybe going down if the sun doesn't blind us. But she, I can't see her number. She's a, a classic. She's a bit of work done. She's probably gone by the header, maybe two, three seasons old. She's a 181. WH, does anyone know who owns that? And we have a 151 leash here. Again, maybe I want to say four or five seasons done going by the, the paint and the header. Um, we have a 141 Galway registered. I can't see the number, lads. The sun is blinding me. We'll have to come up beside him. Uh, this is a Clash Jaguar 870. This is a, a sole sticker on it, but. Hopefully she's not sold if you're looking for a Class Jaguar 870. What right here is she? She's a 08 Tipperary Nort. TN. And we have, what's this? I can't see. She's a, an 860, a class, a class 860. Again, a couple of seasons done, a 171 Leash. Those class are definitely the go-to machine in uh, Harvesters in Ireland. This is an 890 Class Jaguar again, a 03 TS. Nice machine there for someone. She swallowed up a bit of plastic in her last outing. And we have a Class Jaguar 870 again. What right here is she, a 211 WX. And you know by this that Okay, she's one or two seasons done or one or whatever, but you know where the paint. Um, oh, what's this one? I have to kind of squint down to see. She's a Nate, a Clash Jaguar 850, and she is a 191 KK. And of course, we have the FX50 here, the New Holland. We go to the front now, we'll just walk up the, the front of these now, and we'll get another look at the back of them, and you can be, you can be, Looking at them, that class FX50 is 03, other class, the new Holland XF, XF50. And we have the 850 class Jaguar. We have the 870 class Jaguar, 211. We have the 890 class Jaguar. And we have an 860 class Jaguar, which is 171. We have an 870 class Jaguar. An 860 Class Jaguar, a 151, 850 again. Of course, all these are all probably four wheel drive. Um, 870 Jaguar, 181 WH, 
I ain't even know who owns them lads. And we have the John Deere. A 780 Pro Drive John Deere. Look at that for a lineup of stuff, lads. That's that is some lineup of gear. Pity they're not all facing out. It's easier to drive them in though. And here, look, we have another selection of balers with the Fusion 3 Plus. Um, just it's there for you, lads. These are stuff. Maybe you're looking for a Fusion 3 Plus for the the coming season. Um, <clears throat> I was in Lama yesterday, and we were. Talking to the McHale boys on the McHale stand, and they have this thing in the baler. I didn't know it was there, but when these are your knives inside here, you can see some of them there. Um, it'll chop the bale, it'll chop the bale as small as that, like, and you can set it up in such a way that the knives will come out before the bale is fully made. So the outside of your bale is wrapped, we'll say, with long grass. And he said it's a massive, massive success. This is the welder, the RP220 Profi. I've told a lot of you to watch my videos that I have, I use one of these. I've made a lot of bales with something very, very similar to that in the county carry there for a long time. What I used to do is when the bale would be nearly there, I'd open the back door slightly and you get an extra bit in the bale and just made the bale slightly harder. Of course, the fellow's going to tell me, no, I shouldn't have done that, but sure, look, it was fine. There were good quality bale that came out of it. Um, F Fusion 2. Um, Fusion 2, absolutely perfect machine. Maybe a spare machine there for someone. Maybe a, a, maybe your own machine. Maybe a machine that you need to buy this year. Um, not that old. They're still making absolutely brilliant money. I know compared to the, the Fusion, like I know a fella that traded in, I think it was a Fusion 2, to buy a Fusion 3, and he actually got more or less around the same money for it, because it was in absolutely perfect condition by him. Um, let's have, we, we have a Jumbo, a Pottinger Jumbo, here again, these are a serious machine, of course again, all steer and axles in the back, um, Picky wagon silage, then there's fellas, more and more fellas going for that every day. Look at that for a view down there, lads. Oh my god, that's that's some view of combines and self propels and the whole lot down along. Um, we have a chaser bin, not so many of these in Kerry. Um, this is a seriously big one. She's a triaxle chaser bin. Don't even ask me what size or what's in it, maybe it's about 16, 17, maybe 18 foot long. For those of you that don't know, what they do is they have these inside in the fields and when the combines are offloading, um, they would offload into this. There's a cover on, the cover come across and then this obviously stands up there and goes up and these then can load either straight into a silo or they can load straight into a truck parked on the side of the road. So that's the, the plan and there's probably... I don't know, I'm only guessing, maybe 14, 15 ton, maybe 20 ton in that. And I think most of the, the combines nowadays have a, a holding capacity of maybe around 7 ton. So there's about 3, maybe 4 loads in the combine in that, so your truck gets a, a chance to come back. Um, here also we have a couple of more Fusions, we have a Fusion 3 Plus. Um, again, perfect machines, absolutely beautiful machines. Mikhail, of course, an Irish company. Um, we have the McHale Fusion here again, Fusion 3 Plus. Is this for you? Are you looking for um, a second-hand McHale Fusion 3 Plus for the for the the coming season? And here, in around the corner, if I can get around, we have. I have to go around this way. Let's go around the back of the bailers. That's a serious profi. Jumbo wagon. Can I get in here? I can't. I have to do a bit of climbing. That's the back of the baler for anyone who doesn't know. The silage so comes in there. You can see the knives comes in and it keeps rolling it and rolling it and rolling it and rolling it. Then when it's full, it comes back in here. These are the rollers and your plastic goes on there and up there. And it just goes around and around, and everything is done by sensors. And there's probably a camera there someplace. I can't see it. Maybe there's not a camera in this one. 
but there's a camera in them and you can tell absolutely everything that's happening inside from your from the cab from of course Isa bus is all connected to that um, here we have a class Roland 455 auto wrap similar idea similar idea as the as the fusion but um yeah it's just the same same kind of thing to be honest of course the class baler again uh, a lovely lovely machine again and another item here that's not very popular in carrier i haven't seen a whole pile of them um it's you can't really see it now with the sun it's um it's for chopping it's a straw chopper it's for chopping the big square bales. If you load the bale in here, this door will close up if, when the bale has been shredded. These shred the bale and they blow it out into your calf stall or your cattle shed or your dry cattle or whatever you want. Uh, S-U-L Sulky um, fertilizer spreader. Again, beautiful machine. Um, the whole lot. Now guys, we're on 20, nearly 24, 25 minutes. So I think we're going to call this video um, a, a day, and um, so we'll call this video a day, and we'll move on to the next yard. Like I said, the 8th, the 9th, and the 10th of February, 2023. Um, give them a shout, and they will ca call up. They're having a massive open day. They're putting up a marquee below. Um, I'm going to probably have the marquee in maybe one of the next videos. And um, yeah, so look at that for a view. That's a serious, serious view. All right, guys, keep it, keep safe, and give a like, give a subscribe if you can, share it, tell a friend, the whole lot, and tell Kelly's you saw it here. Cheers, guys, bye now.